So we have seen love with the hizmet. We have seen sacrifice with the, with the, with the hizmet. We have seen uh, compassion. Uh, we have seen service um, and, so, and so on and so forth. And all these things cannot be undertaken by some, by someone who is, uh, who is a terrorist. My name is Sheikh Armiya Al Shaib. Um, I am currently the regional manager of Islamic Education Unit in, in Ghana. Uh, I also um, act as the spokesperson of the eminent national uh, chief imam. Uh, also, I also do some regular program on the on the television um, weekly Friday program. I'm also an Imam, um, Imam Khatib uh, in the Dar es Salaam Mosque here uh, in Accra. Hizmet movement, if one wants to make a reference to the term itself, Hizmet, um, the, the first day I, I had Hizmet myself, I, I tried to see certain linguistic link uh, between Hizmet and, and the Arabic uh, version of it, khidma, um, and khidma means means service. So then it explains, for me, literally speaking, um, the um, the philosophy and the intention behind uh, the movement that is underpinned by the concept of service. Um, um, so my opinion about it is that this is a, this is a movement that has been put together of people who who have a desire to dedicate their service to the progress of human life. And I have seen that through you know, several or the, several the dimensions of the activities that the Hizmet and, and undertake, uh, particularly in the area of education and health. Um, in Ghana, you know, for example, the area in which the Hizmet has been more prominent um, and in fact has been able to attain excellence to the admiration of people who are even not part of the Muslim community is in the area of education. And the Galaxy International School is one of such. Um, apart from the Galaxy International School that is making so much impact, um, within it also they, have, they offer this scholarship, meaning that education is understood within the context of the Hizmet activity as the foundation of, of development. Um, and so apart from providing the facility itself, structure, and they, they also provide support uh, that will encourage people to uh, go ahead in, in education. Um, one, of the, one of the major objectives that I got to know from the Hizmet, um, philosophically speaking, is in the Arabic expression that is perfecting the human being. Perfecting the human being. Now, perfecting the human being means that raising the standard of life of the human being such that he will meet the expectations of God of being the vicegerent of God on earth. For a human being to be able to do that, he needs certain qualifications. And one of the key requirements of that qualification is education. And so I can understand the hizmet in the concept of Tahsin al insan um, which uh, has a long-term you know, benefit or long-term impact you know, on every, every human being. Hizmet's service 
still in education is also not centered in just in one place. Now, Hizmat is also extending its tentacles um, from the capital city here beyond to certain parts of the country. I have been taken to Tamale, where one such huge educational project is, un is, is ongoing, almost similar to what we are, and the, the one we are in at the moment. Um, and it appears to me that it's going to be um, one of the first, first of its kind. Um, and because of its size and its architectural beauty, and what it intends to also also achieve. So um, that is one of the areas of the hizmet that I have come to appreciate. Apart from that, some other humanitarian service, um, the sacrifice that they offer, especially during the celebration of the Eid al-Adha, um, attention being given to the very poor people who are unable to afford. So there is a certain kind of activity that is underpinned by the concept or the principle of compassion and love. Um, um, that is done in order to uplift the spirit of people and give hope uh, to people, and which also is a, a key component of the Islamic uh, mission. Um, so that is one of the areas that I also find the services of Hizmat quite very impressive. Um, I've traveled together with Hizmat uh, members to Nigeria also. Um, I have seen a university uh, that has been established um, in Nigeria uh, by the Hizmet. I have also seen a hospital um, of excellence um, um, where I personally felt sick. <laughs> yes, I, I personally felt sick. Um, and the hospital I was taken to was a hospital built by, by the Hizmet. Um, excellent service, um, uh, professional um, service. Uh, that was offered uh, to me and the show of love uh, that I received um, uh, is so incredible um, uh, for me. Um, so given that these are tangibles that we have come uh, to see, um, and also um, my contact with the members of the Hizmet also opens another dimension, um, which is not so much physical, mm but so much moral and, and spiritual um, in the sense of the sort of um, love, courtesy, respect that the members of the Hizmet, you know, um, exhibit. Um, it's an indication of a certain kind of training um, that they have gone through um, that gives them that spark, you know, of love in them and to also give manifestation to it when they meet any, any person. Um, that is so incredible. And I believe, I tell you that anyone who has met them um, has met the agents of his met love, the his met sacrifice, and the his met uh, compassion. And they are, the his met is still making inroads into the Ghanaian um, community and it's registering very incredible, incredibly excellent presence in our society. Before I met members of the Hizmet here in Ghana, I hadn't heard anything about Hoja Effendi and So through my contact with them, I got to know the Hizmet and I got to know the spirit and the inspiration and the personality behind it, though far removed from us, we didn't see him physically, but through them we see him. Um, through what they do, through their sincerity, um, they give us um, a certain sense of the kind of personality that is behind. They are all their, their efforts. But beyond that, I got to know, I got to now understand Hoja Effendi Fatullah Golen from the books that he has written. Um, we keep on receiving books from my the members of the, of the, of the Hizmet um, about his life story, uh, about, about his personality. 
about his philosophy uh, of life, his, his understanding of Islam. And I must confess to you that through reading uh, materials that he has produced, my understanding of Islam has been enhanced so much to a very incredible level. He inspired me through his writings to be able to come out with my own cliche, what I call authentic Islamic living. That's when it comes to the life aspect of it. Or in terms of knowledge, I also talk of the enlightened understanding of Islam. Enlightened understanding of Islam that leads to authentic Islamic living. So reading from, from that, um, I, become, I became more and more interested to know more and more you know, about him. Um, and, and, and that's how come I, I, I came to know. As far as my experience is concerned, um, it is totally untrue, it's, it's totally false uh, to accuse the members of the Hizmet um, in this country of, of terrorism. I mean, terrorists are those who create a situation of panic and fear, um, attack people, make people maybe uncomfortable um, from wherever, wherever they are. Terrorists do kill people. Terrorists are not interested in enhancing life. Terrorists don't give hope. Terrorists don't give compassion, you know. So there are so many characteristics of the terrorists that we cannot find with the Hizmet. Um, like I mentioned earlier on, Hizmet have been in this country for some time now. Um, they have been supportive of government because government is supposed to provide education and the government is unable to do everything. So Hizmet comes with its infrastructure uh, to education, edu assisting to educate Ghanaian citizens, not any other person. And many Ghanaian children are beneficiaries of the educational services that Hizmet is is providing. Many Ghanaian young people are receiving scholarships. Hizmet, through his, its education programs, is even forging integration of people across nations. So in the Hizmet schools, for example, you find students from Nigeria, you know, from Mali, from Togo, from Ivory Coast, you know. Um, in fact, in fact, even taking matters of, of, of integration beyond the borders of Ghana to reach within the sub-region of, 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 of West, West, West Africa. So we have seen love with the Hizmet. We have seen sacrifice with the, with the, with the Hizmet. We have seen uh, compassion. Uh, we have seen service um, and, so, and so on and so forth. And all these things cannot be undertaken by, some, by someone who is, uh, who is a terrorist. Hizmet continued to, to commit so much huge resources, so much huge resources. I cannot, I cannot say how much, but given the enormity of the projects um, that I've been taking, I mean, I, I, I don't think that we'll be able to quantify, I'll be able to quantify. Um, and, and so therefore, we would, we would want um, the world um, to know that the Hizmet organization is not a, a terrorist group. The, the inspiration behind them and the teachings and the philosophy uh, has, has been underpinned by, by helping people to live life in its full, fullness. fullness. And from the books of Hoja Fatullah, Effendi Fatullah Gulen that I have read, particularly the one that deals with love and, and tolerance, he has emphasized the issue of even dialogue across religions, across, across cultures. He, he says something that, that made so much impact on, on my mind about the concept of clash of civilizations. And he says that clash of civilizations connotes, in a very long term, a continuous and perpetual conflict across cultures. 
So therefore, then it creates a certain mindset, a mindset of we and them, a mindset of antagony, a mindset of, of opposition, which does not lead us anywhere. So therefore, instead of saying, talking about the clash of civilizations, uh, Hoja Effendi now replace the clash of civilizations with the concept of dialogue of civilizations. And that is something that the world has not come to understand. And he appears to be the only, the single eminent world Muslim leader who has espoused this kind of concept. And it's a concept that I'm sure that all the members of the Hizmet also carry along. Thank you.